Yamile Pino Abro, the Dominican Republic. Now, if she hits here with this first vault, she could cause a massive upset. Sure, if it's this one, no, it's the slightly easier vault first. The round off, one and a half twists off. Bit of directional problems there, but it was high and flighty. Almost too much power, but in the wrong dimension. Yeah, my guess is she twisted, over twisted on the top of the horse. Let's have a look. No, she set it up quite nicely and then cast to the side. It's very difficult to time that one and a half twist. Left the head in to give her some awareness, but pulled it forward very sharply. Watch the head stay down so she can see where she is and then pulled it forward. Lost a little bit of control there. And focusing in on what will be the most difficult vault that you see in this final. You know, Abru. 13.9 that first vault but she's not out of the running yet because she's about to deliver a 7.1 huge now it's the handspring double front she's attempting and now you can see the chalk on her legs where she's going to grab the front of her legs Has to control the power to hit this platform up in the air two front somersault oh. Oh. and that I'm afraid is likely to be a zero you have to get the feet down first it's a very big gamble if it goes well you'll score big but if it doesn't there's no reward she had a go and I tell you what respect from every vaulter in this final needs to get the heels up hands off very quick and just pulled the seat in too soon and kicked it out <laughs> midway through. The angle has to be gone in the shoulders, heels over the top. Everything has to be right. They've not got as much height as the men. And she runs out of it here and kicks it out to her back. But what a great attitude. She smiled. She said, well, I gave it a go. And yes. you're right, Chris. A score of zero across the board. She finishes on 6.95.